Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing your weekly money and finance reading to see uh, what energies are going to be available and how can you best utilize them to navigate this area of your life. My name is Katie. I welcome you into this space. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If any of you want to support the channel and help me continue to do what I love, all you need to do is like this video and subscribe. Completely free, takes a second and it means the world to me. If at any point you feel like these readings help you, like they actually make a difference in your life, you can let me know by clicking on the donation link in the description box below and leaving a donation that feels appropriate for you. I would absolutely appreciate that. You don't have to, but if you want to, the option is there. <laughs> All right, let's, let's see. Spirit, please bring in the most relevant messages for finances, career, and money for Pisces. How is their money looking at this time? What advice is the best for them to hear right now? Please let us know. Let us know. All right, first card showing up here, we've got Cedar, the Chariot card. All right, so it seems here that not only are you going to be experiencing progress and movement forward, it seems like you already are. There is momentum building. There is kind of like a change in the velocity of things, and you can already perceive it. Maybe you have been putting in more hours or intentions or... Um, energy, you know, to this area of your life in whatever way, and it's starting to show, okay? It's starting to show, it's starting to move forward. You're going to be experiencing good luck in this area as well, okay? What's the challenge for Pisces at this time about money? Four of air, okay, Pisces. So, the challenge right now with lavender, you know, actually this candle, I made it, it's all about lavender, it has like lavender seeds and everything, so it's funny that I'm using it and this card is showing up. Four of Swords, you may feel tired, you may need to relax, you may need to sleep, you may need to be gentle with yourself as you continue to make this progress, okay? You're definitely entering a, a phase of high success and abundance, but in order to make it consistent, in order to make it um, sustainable, lavender here is advised. So relaxing, taking moments to maybe meditate, to sleep, to rest, recuperate, do things that have nothing to do with work, do things that have nothing to do with money, right? And all of those things are going to be very helpful. However, you may have perhaps a challenge finding the time or the energy or, you know, the right space um, to do those things or to stop doing other things, <laughs> you know. All right. So what's showing up in the recent past for, oh, wow, the Wheel of Fortune, Kitchen Garden, the Wheel of Fortune card number 10 in the recent past for you guys. So everything has been exactly what it needs to be, okay? There is fate involved here. And what I'm getting is that some of you had like a, a big win and then it almost turned into a, a big loss for some of you, not all of you, but maybe something good happened and you thought it was going to be a permanent shift, a permanent change, and it turned out not to be the case. And that may have been very disheartening for some of you. But in this case, they're telling you here that needed to happen. Because when the real shift happens and you really want it to be permanent, it's like you get a second chance. You already learn from that previous experience. And it's like now you're going to implement all of that into this new chapter of your life that will be, if you allow it, consistent and permanent. Okay, a shift in your abundance, more money coming in. Maybe you needed to lose money in order to understand how to make money or keep money. All right, so spirit, 
what is the ideal message representing the mind state, mindset about money for Pisces? Cinnamon, seven of fire. Yes, I love this. I absolutely love this. This is letting me know that in your thought space, in your mind space, you're like, I deserve this and I'm going to make this happen. This is not something that I'm just going to let go of, you know, there's an abundance here. There's a goal here. There's a desire. There's a lifestyle that you want to live, maybe a property that you want to get. Maybe there is this very powerful, passionate goal that is in your mind and that you're not going to let anyone like talk you out of a very, very healthy sense of being stubborn, protecting your goals and doing what you have to do. Even if at times you're tired, even if at times you lose your focus, it's coming back and coming back time and time again into what you know is right and what you know you need to do in order to um, experience this expansion okay in money finances and career spirit what is coming for pisces in the near future in this area six of air wow cattail beautiful okay so you're gonna be moving into calmer waters all right Maybe you have been in choppy waters in finances and career for some time. Maybe you have been, you know, in a bit of a um, risky situation or feeling tight, you know, with your finances all the time, feeling like there's never enough. Maybe you are or you have been um, tense about it, worried about it. And in the near future, I see you here moving completely away from that. So maybe you're going to have a whole less ex like less amount of expenses or maybe you're going to be making a whole lot more money or maybe just problems, issues and tensions are going to be left in the past. They're going to be a thing of the past for you and you're going to be entering, taking with you the essentials into a new life that will be stress free in all of these areas. Absolutely beautiful. Universe, what do you want Pisces to know? What's your advice? We got here garlic strength. Wow, beautiful. You've got what it takes, Pisces. Okay, you've got what it takes. No matter how gnarly situations can get, you have what it takes to turn them around. And remember that this is not only that you have a ton of strength. Spirit is also behind you with its infinite strength, if that makes sense, okay? If, if, you know, the infinite energy of it all. If some of you guys are feeling under the weather physically and you feel like you need to be, um, you know, doing things and working a little harder and you're not being able to, uh, it's important for you to maybe supplement yourself with garlic. Garlic is absolutely wonderful for everything, literally, like... That was my go-to when I had like COVID and every time I, I had some um, garlic tea, which by the way does not taste bad, <laughs> um, it really shifted everything. It's just so powerful. You can call upon the spirit of the garlic to really come in and heal within your physical body anything that is, um, you know, troublesome at the time. And they have honey here as well. What card best represents the current state of the finances for Pisces watching? I think if it resonates, you know, there's a lot of people watching, so not all of the messages are going to be unanimously accurate for everybody, right? Although I often get surprised by how the comments do mention that they are really accurate for everybody, <laughs> it seems. Okay, we got, again, wow, chamomile, beautiful, page of water. So right now, you may be, I think, in an initial stage, 
in which you're starting to maybe fall in love with money, career, finances, and things like that. Maybe you're starting to get a hang of it. You're starting a journey in a serene way. It's like you're starting to give the first steps of what will become a very serene connection to money, a very serene relationship with the freedom that money gives you. Chamomile, very soothing, very healing, relaxing, very receptive herb here. Your intuition is going to guide you. If it's not a hell yes, it's a hell no. The energy in your environment in this area of life Adelita of Air, Oregano. Adelita. I think that's the night. Yeah, that's the night. Beautiful. Okay, so this is letting you know here that around you there may be offers, there may be opportunities. And you don't have to say yes to them. You don't have to say yes to all of them or any of them, but it seems like Spirit is going to be bringing here um, options for you to evaluate. Opportunities, possibilities, you know. Your hopes and fears about money right now in your life. Ace of Water. Okay, the Ace of Cups. You know, the thing is, Pisces, it seems like your finances are very attached to your emotions at this time. And some of you have a hope for money to make your relationships better. You know, maybe having the money to share with your loved ones or help your loved ones or travel with your loved ones or whatever it is that you may want. Maybe buy property for someone, for your parents or something like that. Maybe to have the money to, you know, give inheritance. Whatever it may be, maybe you have the hope that the abundance that you want will help you, right? In those emotional situations. But there could be a simultaneous fear of priorities being shifted in a way and not you not wanting to be valued only because of that or you don't want your relationships, your your friendships, family connections to be influenced by your newfound abundance, perhaps. So it's kind of like, you know, you want it and you want to nurture all of the loving aspects and relationships in your life, but you don't want it to create chaos in them. outcome here we have the five of wands slippery elm i'm hearing be careful with property purchases do the research is what i just heard do the research i'm getting kind of like someone um this could be for just one person here but it seems like a very valuable message if you feel like you have found a bargain, if you feel like you have found maybe like an old home that you want to like um, do like extreme makeover on and it's like a really cheap price, like do the research. There is something I'm hearing in the foundation of that home that is not entirely well. Could be a house, could be an apartment, but there is something, um, there's a reason why it seems too good to be true. There is something that you're not aware of, Pisces, so beware of that, okay? It's maybe not the right time for this. If that resonates with you, that message is for you. If that has nothing to do with you, um, another message that could be applying here would be that everybody may have a say on what is good and ideal for you to do. Make sure that you only follow what is right for you. Okay? 
People are very easy to point you in one direction or another, but they're not the ones that are going to have to pay for the things afterwards. They're not the ones that are going to have to live with the consequences of your decisions. So make sure that the decisions being made come from your um, common sense, your heart, your intuition, you know, everything that is really within your power and within your reach. I have noticed, Pisces, that this area seems to be the one that has the fishies struggling the most. And, you know, it doesn't have to be the case. There's a lot of hacks. There's a lot of mindset shifts, consciousness shifts, um, subconscious reprogramming you can do, manifestation techniques that you can use to really shift this area. Because it is very intimately related to our power. Money is an extension of who we are, okay? And it gives us the freedom to express who we are more broadly in the world. You know, if you are a kind-hearted person, having a shit ton of money is just going to amplify that kindness. It's just going to help you be kind in ways that can transform the world. So, I don't know, I feel like it's important for us especially being Pisces and this like really powerful, conscious, intuitive collective that we have here to put some work into this area and make sure that we're really doing um, our part to have the freedom and power that we deserve to have. Okay. I have resources for that. YouTube has infinite resources about that. So do some research. Make sure that you guys are um, decluttering this area of your life because it can bring beautiful things. And if you need any advice, if you would like to connect through one of the manifestation sessions that I'm offering, check it out in the description box below. We can talk, we can get to know each other, and maybe, hopefully, I can guide you in the right direction. We can boost the energies with some spell work and, you know, get this area kind of like off the ground. But definitely, Pisces, just know that there is progress being made and that your efforts are definitely paying off, okay? I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will be seeing you in the next reading. Bye.